Hello guys, this week on this channel will be a bit different than usual, not that much technical and without PHP Storm on screen. So last week I went to three sources of Laravel jobs, picked some advertisements about senior developers for Laravel and decided to analyze what do developers need to learn or what requirements are for jobs for senior positions including Laravel. And this week I will have a series of videos, five videos in total, at least for now. Each video related to a specific topic of skills or set of skills related to Laravel. In other words, we will answer the question, what do you need to learn to get a senior position or mid to senior position in Laravel related company? And I think it's pretty symbolic to have this series as last week of summer before the symbolic September 1st, which is in most countries, the beginning of new school year. So new beginning after summer holidays, you will eventually think maybe what you can do next in your next phase of your career. It's kind of similar to New Year's resolution in a way. After summer, a lot of people make new plans. So to help you with that, the series and the sources of those jobs are large jobs that you can see on the screen. Then I also went to Indeed, which is number one source of jobs in general from what I know in the world. And then the third source of jobs was LinkedIn. So on LinkedIn, you are not just bombarded by recruiters, but there's actual job boards that you can pick the job from. And from those searches, I've gathered 50 jobs and copy pasted their descriptions or at least the technical part into admin panel. And I remembered how cool it is to have our own tool for just generally creating this simple table like this. So sources and jobs, two menu items. So I used quickadminpanel.com for that, our own tool. You can check that out as well. It's really helpful, at least to me, when I need something quick as a database like this, but visual. And in this video, we will start talking about databases. So you would think that with Laravel, of course, you need to know MySQL, but there are more nuances to it. Let's discuss. I've zoomed in the screen, and if we just run through a few random jobs, of course, they mention the databases. So experience with relational databases such as MySQL and PostgreSQL. The next just mentions database design and development without specifically MySQL. The next one just mentions, as a, by the way, stored data in MySQL or Postgres. So basically, you need to know databases in any job related to Laravel because it's the backend and you need to store data somewhere, right? But there's more to it. Quite often in the job descriptions, they mention the performance and optimization and something extra related to MySQL or to databases if that particular project or their portfolio requires real focus on the databases. So one example is write and optimize SQL queries to maximize performance. Another example, emphasis on scalability and performance. Basically, when you reach the senior level or you are going to that, you will probably work with projects with big amount of data. And working with that amount of data could be optimized both from the code and also from database. Next question or subtopic, what kind of databases you need to learn on top of MySQL or in addition to MySQL? And you have already seen a few times mentioning Postgres. So if we search all 50 jobs for Postgre, six ads mentioning, it's not actually even six ads because this is repeating, so five ads mentioning Postgre. Is it a lot or not? The choice is yours. Generally in this video series, I will be trying to mention all the keywords and tags and techniques and frameworks that are mentioned at least three times, which means it's not really random. So Postgre is mentioned five times. If we take a look at NoSQL, NoSQL, it is directly referenced four times. But you cannot judge from that. For example, if you search for Mongo, MongoDB is mentioned four times as well. So you can add on top NoSQL and Mongo. So eight jobs out of 50 involve requirement of NoSQL databases. And finally, sometimes they don't even mention the specific database or database type. It's about the kinds of database, the architectural kinds, not specifically MySQL, Postgre or NoSQL or Mongo or whatever. But for example, if I search for the word relational, it is mentioned eight times. And for example, relational, key value and document based data storages. So it's kind of a broader term, meaning that you have experience in different kinds of storing the data and you would pick right solutions for particular projects. Another example is worked with multiple types of databases, relational and non-relational. 
And actually another few keywords that I've grouped into this database related video is Elasticsearch, which is not the database engine itself, but it's kind of about data storage and searching the data, so working with data. It was mentioned quite a lot. Out of those 50 jobs, eight of them mentioned Elasticsearch. For example, Elasticsearch or similar data stores. If we search for some more, another alternative solar is mentioned. Another example mentions even more keywords, Elasticsearch with Rabbit, Redis, Couchbase, and Zookeeper. And related to that, another keyword is Redis. So working with Redis is also kind of like a data storage used for multiple purposes. So if we search for Redis in those jobs, I find six occurrences of Redis. One of them is here on the screen. Another one is Redis with MySQL and Amazon Aurora. Then also Redis is grouped here alongside with MySQL and SQL. Or in another example, it's just mentioned alongside MySQL as database. So it was worth mentioning that Redis is six times on this list. So yeah, these are the numbers and findings related to databases. If you have any more things that I could look up and answer some of your questions about databases, shoot in the comments below. Or maybe if you have something to add, of course, let's discuss in the comments what trends do you see in Laravel in terms of databases and maybe you will help each other to decide what to learn next to advance in your Laravel career. That's it for today's video. In tomorrow's video, we will discuss another topic from the same list, which will be source control with Git, CI, CD and automated testing. It is mentioned quite a lot in this list. How many times exactly? You will find out tomorrow. So subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.